Hi guys, welcome back to Lucky and Lukey. Today we're going to be cleaning the boot of the Rover People 80. So the reason why we're cleaning this out today is because we're going to put a new carpet lining in it instead of this i'll keep the original but we have new carpet that we're just going to put to make it a little bit more serviceable make the boot nice and clean so we can put objects in there that we're not worried about them getting too rover rover fresh smell um and one thing i've noticed here that hopefully there's a rover guru um so I can see obviously two wires going here. I'm guessing that's a fuel pump and that's fine. And the fuel pump works. I noticed that there's an extra wire here that's cut off. And I noticed that there's some sort of earthing or terminal attachment here that's missing a wire. So I've got two wires coming out, three options, but one's cut off. Some earthing or strapping or some sort of wiring harness that looks it's hard to identify i've obviously got all my lights work so all those wires are fine they run up here i'm not sure what this holster is is that for the um for the the you know the socket for the jack uh anyone who knows please let me know what should be placed there because i do have something that looks like a jack over here i've never taken out uh, i must inspect that and then anyone know how, how's this wiring, like what's missing? Because it looks like there was a whole bunch of wires that were loose in here and I've just sort of taken them out. They were all just running up the top here, dangling, not plugged into anything. All my lights and blinkers work, so we can eliminate that. There's a few wires running up there. So I'm just curious as to the previous sort of life of this car. Someone's played with the... I think at one stage someone put speakers in the back or so they've done some playing around with the wiring but essentially what am I missing with this here is that the secondary fuel reserve and is it likely that wire should have been connected to there if anyone knows please let me know and I can fix that up and normally where do your wires sit these are all dangling here I'd like to wrap them up or get them out of the way but I also know that as you open and close the boot, um, there needs to be enough free play that they don't get caught on the way down. So mm -hmm. I'm mindful of that. I'd be interested to get some advice. Who knows what you usually do of all this wiring? Where should it be versus where it is now? And is where it's sort of just dangling how they all were? Or is this a product of the previous ownership of this car? I do see that there was meant to be a light here. I have no idea if that's hooked up. Um, but I can try it and there's some wiring that goes in here I don't think my number plate light works so that could be another thing that's missing some wiring because 
there are glows but there's no lights so yeah any advice what do people usually do in this case regarding the wiring please um let me know um so guys um we're we're just going to put this at the back so the, when we start the car, the gas won't go through. So we're just going to um, place it at the back. So we, so there's no... So now we have a nice clean boot area to put things in so it doesn't so be as stinky for anything we put in here plus um, so any smells that do enter don't go in through the back seats inside the car that looks a lot nicer now we're going to do the glove boxes so we're going to do a bit of lining of the glove boxes i've got a few wires back there mainly because i have a wireless phone charger and a few other things sort of just rigged up but they're not attached to the car they're actually connect connected to the battery itself with a manual switch so i'm not modifying the car in any way so just give this a bit of a clean up done the glove box on one side and we'll go ahead and do the other side it's a lot cleaner now if we want to put something in it's nice and clean I've still got my little switch here which one day will be a proper switch it's just that nowhere is open during COVID to go get a proper switch so that's what I'm using for now so we found the original docket hidden inside the glove box between some bits of metal just in between that pillar was this original docket for the car rush green shadow green line number 18060 saloon p4 with overdrive look at those numbers e3921 or 021 trim color 5 right hand drive Remember guys, if you want to see more videos about the Rover P480, remember to like and subscribe. Toodaloo!